the knowledge of quantum mechanics together with Einstein's theories of relativity really gave us the modern world. For many years, Albert Einstein's theories of relativity have served as the foundational pillars of modern physics, influencing how we comprehend the nature of time, space, and the very structure of the universe. His revolutionary equations illuminated how gravity alters the fabric of space-time, how light curves around massive objects, and even how time slows in the presence of strong gravitational fields. Einstein's work has undergone rigorous testing, consistently proving to be one of the most monumental breakthroughs in the history of science. However, a recent and groundbreaking revelation in the field of quantum computing has sent ripples through the scientific community, directly challenging one of Einstein's most steadfast convictions about reality itself. At the core of Einstein's philosophy was a deep unease with the strange and often paradoxical world of quantum mechanics. One of his most famous declarations, God does not play dice with the universe, highlighted his skepticism toward the inherent randomness of quantum systems. In Einstein's view, the universe was a deterministic machine governed by predictable laws. But quantum mechanics presented a radically different idea, one of uncertainty, randomness, and particles that behaved in ways that defied classical expectations. Now, with the advent of quantum computers, machines that operate on the very principles of quantum mechanics, scientists have achieved something remarkable, an experiment that directly tests Einstein's assumptions about the universe, with results that are nothing short of extraordinary. Before delving into the implications of this revolutionary discovery, let's take a step back and explore the history of the debate between Einstein and quantum mechanics. Einstein's reservations about quantum theory weren't just philosophical. They stemmed from a scientific challenge to one of quantum mechanics' fundamental concepts, entanglement. Entanglement occurs when two or more particles become so deeply intertwined that the state of one instantly affects the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. Einstein famously dismissed this phenomenon as spooky action at a distance, believing it violated the principle of locality, the idea that nothing can influence anything else faster than the speed of light. In essence, Einstein argued that quantum mechanics was incomplete, and he postulated the existence of hidden variables, unseen factors that, one day, would explain the strange behavior of entangled particles in classical terms. For decades, scientists worked to test Einstein's ideas, leading to a series of experiments known as Bell Tests. These experiments, named after physicist John Bell, used a mathematical framework to assess whether hidden variables could offer a classical explanation for quantum entanglement. Over time, these experiments repeatedly confirmed that quantum mechanics, not Einstein's hidden variables, was correct. However, Despite these findings, Einstein's legacy remained influential, and questions persisted about the ultimate nature of reality. Fast forward to the 21st century, and quantum computing has revolutionized our capacity to probe the mysteries of the quantum realm. Unlike classical computers, which process information in binary bits, ones and zeros, quantum computers rely on qubits, units that can exist in superpositions of states. This property enables quantum computers to perform calculations and simulations that are impossible for classical machines, making them ideal for testing the boundaries of quantum mechanics itself. And this is where the story takes an astonishing turn. In a recent experiment conducted with a cutting-edge quantum computer, scientists managed to simulate the very structure of space-time marking a breakthrough that allowed them to observe how quantum systems interact with the universe's fabric. In this simulation, researchers witnessed something truly mind-boggling. Entangled particles not only appeared to communicate instantly over vast distances, but their interactions seemed to affect the very structure of space-time, as if the entanglement process was reshaping the universe itself, creating ripples in the fabric of reality. This discovery has profound implications, suggesting that space-time may not be a static, unchanging backdrop for cosmic events, but could, in fact, emerge from quantum processes. What does this mean for Einstein's theories? At first glance, it might appear to directly contradict relativity, 
after all. If quantum processes can influence space-time in ways that defy classical understanding, it raises questions about the scope and validity of Einstein's equations. However, scientists emphasize that this new discovery doesn't invalidate relativity. It suggests that relativity is just one component of a far larger picture. It remains an accurate framework at macroscopic scales, but it begins to break down when we venture into the quantum domain. To fully grasp the significance of this discovery, we must explore the field of quantum gravity, a discipline aimed at reconciling Einstein's general relativity with quantum mechanics. For decades, physicists have struggled to merge these two pillars of modern science, as their mathematical structures are inherently incompatible. While relativity describes the universe as a smooth, continuous fabric, quantum mechanics depicts a world of discrete, probabilistic events. The recent advancements in quantum computing offer a tantalizing glimpse into how these two frameworks might be connected. If space-time indeed emerges from quantum processes, as the experiment suggests, it could mean that gravity itself is a quantum phenomenon. This idea aligns with theories like loop quantum gravity and string theory, both of which propose that space-time is composed of tiny, discrete units. But the implications extend even deeper. If quantum mechanics governs the very fabric of reality, it raises fundamental philosophical questions about existence itself. For instance, if space-time is emergent, what lies beyond it? Could there be a deeper layer of reality that gives rise to the quantum world? And if such a layer exists, what role do we, as conscious observers, play in its unfolding? This brings us to one of the most intriguing aspects of the experiment, the role of observation in quantum mechanics. The act of measurement plays a crucial role in determining the outcome of a quantum event. This phenomenon, known as the observer effect, suggests that reality may not be fixed until it is observed. In the context of the recent discovery, this raises the possibility that our observations could influence not only quantum systems, but the very structure of space-time itself. While this concept may seem straight out of science fiction, some physicists have even proposed that consciousness itself might be a quantum phenomenon. According to this view, our minds are deeply connected to the quantum fabric of the universe, and our thoughts and perceptions may play a role in shaping reality. While this idea remains speculative, it raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness, free will, and existence itself. If our minds are quantum systems, it could imply that our choices and actions are not entirely deterministic, but are shaped by the same probabilistic principles that govern quantum particles. This would suggest that free will may not be an illusion, but a fundamental aspect of the quantum universe. However, this perspective also presents unsettling possibilities. If consciousness is a quantum phenomenon, could it be simulated or replicated using quantum computers? Some researchers believe that advanced quantum computers might eventually be able to create artificial intelligence systems with properties resembling consciousness. Such developments would raise serious ethical questions about the nature of life, identity, and the rights of artificial beings. Moreover, the notion that consciousness is rooted in quantum processes could challenge our understanding of life after death. Some researchers have speculated that if consciousness is indeed a quantum phenomenon, it may be possible for some aspect of the mind to persist beyond the death of the physical body. While this idea remains highly speculative, it underscores the deep philosophical and spiritual questions raised by the latest discoveries in quantum mechanics. As we continue to explore the quantum realm, it becomes increasingly clear that we are only beginning to scratch the surface of a vast and mysterious landscape. The discoveries made possible by quantum computers have already begun to challenge our understanding of time, space, and reality, forcing us to confront questions that were once the realm of philosophy and metaphysics. But these questions are not purely abstract. They have tangible implications for the future of science, technology, and society. Quantum computers have the potential to revolutionize fields ranging from medicine to cryptography. But they also raise concerns about the ethical and existential risks associated with tampering with the fundamental building blocks of reality. 
As we stand on the precipice of this new quantum era, one thing is certain. The discoveries we make today will shape the future of humanity in ways we can scarcely comprehend. Einstein may have been mistaken about some aspects of the quantum world, but his legacy as a scientist and thinker remains a testament to the power of curiosity and human ingenuity. Ultimately, the story of quantum mechanics is not one of conflict, but one of exploration, a journey into the unknown that challenges us to question our assumptions and expand our horizons. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, we honor Einstein's legacy, not by clinging to his ideas, but by daring to question them, just as he once questioned those who came before him. In this context, quantum computing has not only challenged Einstein's deterministic worldview, but has also opened the door to some of the most profound philosophical and practical questions humanity has ever encountered. The experiment in question, in which entangled particles appear to reshape space-time itself, raises critical issues about the nature of cause and effect. In classical physics, events unfold in a clear, predictable sequence. One event causes another in a linear chain. Yet, within the quantum realm, this tidy concept of causality begins to disintegrate. Scientists have speculated for years that within the quantum domain, time itself may not exist as we traditionally understand it. Events in quantum mechanics can appear to occur out of order or even simultaneously. This phenomenon, known as quantum causality, suggests that the universe may not operate on a fixed timeline of events, but rather in a web of probabilities. The ramifications of this concept are staggering. If time as we know it is merely a macroscopic illusion, a product of quantum interactions, our understanding of the past, present, and future may be fundamentally flawed. Imagine a reality where events lack a fixed sequence, where cause and effect can be reversed or intertwined. This would force us to rethink not just physics, but also concepts like free will, memory, and consciousness itself. Furthermore, these findings align with emerging theories proposing that space-time is not a continuous fabric, but a discrete, pixelated structure. Just as digital screens display images composed of individual pixels, the universe may be made up of tiny, indivisible units known as Planck lengths. These represent the smallest measurable units of space and time, marking the point at which classical physics completely gives way to quantum mechanics. By operating at these infinitesimal scales, quantum computers have allowed us unprecedented access to this hidden structure of the universe. Some researchers even believe that quantum computers could eventually simulate entire universes at the Planck scale, giving us a direct look at how space-time emerges from quantum processes. However, this raises a deeply unsettling question. If space-time is emergent, what is it emerging from? Could there be a deeper layer of reality, one that exists beyond our current comprehension? Some physicists have proposed that our universe might be a hologram, a three-dimensional projection of information encoded on a two-dimensional surface. This holographic principle suggests that everything we perceive, matter, energy, and even the passage of time, could be an illusion, a shadow of a deeper, more fundamental reality. Experiments in quantum computing, such as the one discussed here, have provided indirect evidence supporting this idea. By examining the behavior of entangled particles, scientists have identified patterns that resemble those found in holographic systems. These patterns suggest that the interactions of quantum particles may be governed by principles that transcend the boundaries of our familiar three-dimensional world. This raises profound philosophical questions. If the universe is a hologram, who or what is projecting it? Could there be a cosmic projector responsible for creating our reality? And if so, could we ever understand or interact with it? Some researchers speculate that the quantum processes we observe may be the result of computational processes occurring in a higher dimensional realm. In this view, the universe itself could be a vast quantum computer processing information at a scale far beyond human comprehension. If this theory sounds like science fiction, Consider the work being done in the field of digital physics. 
digital physics proposes that the universe operates as a computational system, with everything from subatomic particles to galaxies functioning as bits of information. Quantum computers, with their ability to process information in superpositions of states, provide a glimpse of what such a computational universe might look like. Some scientists even suggest that quantum computers could eventually test the hypothesis of digital physics, offering experimental evidence for the idea that the universe is fundamentally an information processing system. But if the universe is a quantum computer, what does that mean for us? Are we simply programs running within this cosmic system, or do we play a unique role in the unfolding of reality? This question leads us to one of the most controversial and intriguing areas of quantum mechanics, the relationship between consciousness and the quantum world. As we mentioned earlier, the observer effect in quantum mechanics suggests that the act of measurement influences the outcome of a quantum system. But what exactly constitutes an observer? Does it have to be a human being or could any interaction with the environment qualify as a measurement? And if human consciousness does play a special role in shaping quantum reality, what does this say about the nature of the mind? Some physicists, such as Roger Penrose, have proposed that consciousness itself might be a quantum phenomenon. According to Penrose's theory of orchestrated objective reduction orchestroir, the brain's microtubules, tiny structures within neurons, operate at the quantum level, allowing consciousness to emerge from quantum processes. If this theory is correct, it would imply that our thoughts and perceptions are deeply connected to the quantum fabric of the universe. This idea carries profound implications for our understanding of free will, creativity, and existence itself. If our minds are quantum systems, it could mean that our choices are not entirely deterministic, but influenced by the same probabilistic principles that govern quantum particles. This suggests that free will may not be an illusion, but an essential feature of the quantum universe. However, this theory also raises unsettling questions. If consciousness is a quantum phenomenon, could it be possible to simulate or replicate it using quantum computers? Some researchers believe that advanced quantum computers could eventually create artificial intelligence systems with properties resembling consciousness. Such developments would force us to confront difficult ethical questions about life, identity, and the rights of artificial beings. Additionally, the idea that 